Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller. I'm sorry I didn't upload a video yesterday, I was going to, but I was busy celebrating my birthday. And it sucks that your birthday is near Halloween, because every time I make a party or something like that and invite my friends, then they all think that it's a Halloween party. And yeah, <laughs> I'm used to it already, but when I was a kid, that was a big trauma of mine. But anyway, let's get started with today's episode. No more blah 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 from me. So for this video, I'm just going to be adjusting some variables, changing some names of some functions, and cleaning up the code a little bit. So this video is going to be quite short. So if you see our player, I added some stuff. Uh, don't worry, it's going to be easy to understand. I added attack speed, so we can have a very fast attack speed. So for example, right now it's 0 0.5. So that means I can do 0 0.5 attacks per second, or one attack per second. And if I increase this to, for example, 1.2, it's 1.2 attacks per second. So it's much faster. And how I did it was very easy. I'm going to show you here in the code. Uh, first of all, I changed some stuff. I added a new boolean here in movements called can move. I added also a boolean called can attack, and I set it to true. And I also added uh, attack damage, attack speed, and attack range. Uh, right now, I'm just using the attack speed, but these also we are going to use them in the future very soon, maybe in the next video. Uh, so everything then is the same, and I define a region called movement and I also define a region called combat but the main point here is that I changed this so before is if we're not attacking but right now if can move okay so you might want to change that and in the attack routine if you realize I changed this before it was attacking and on the bottom we had attacking become back to false so we're attacking we're not attacking because I realized we can only move if we're not attacking didn't make a lot of sense because uh, maybe we're not only attacking, maybe we're talking with some NPC, maybe we are uh, using some items. So whenever we do things that don't allow us to move, we're going to set the can move to false. When we start attacking, we cannot move. And when we end the attack routine, we can move. And I changed this to uh, a smaller float six, uh, 0 0.65 and now for having our attack speed we added we created a new call routine and this is called attack cooldown so when we start attacking so here in the attack routine we set can attack to false so that prevents us from keep attacking okay and actually this should be set down here yeah. so an attack cooldown we cannot attack and then after one over our attack speed that means the more attack speed we have the smaller this number will be then we turn can attack back to true and that will allow us to call void attack once again because if can attack is not true here we will return that means we will not run this stuff underneath it so that's some of the, cha the changes I've made. I also removed this get hit from the update because we want to call the get hit from the player controller. And we're going to do that next. Uh, we are going to first make this function called get enemies in range. Uh, but for that, I'm going to make another video. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.